In Rockhampton, a Kurana croc farm, British pest controller Martin is learning to handle crocodiles. Hold push. Yeah, you got he it. needs to restrain a female so that he can remove the eggs from her nest. Don't let her back in the water. Not you, right? We'll just pull. He's working with the farm's owner and Australia's top croc expert, John Lever. This is a dangerous situation. You've got to work as a team. I'm going to have to keep a very close eye on him. Martin's lasso has secured the angry female's top jaw, but she can still snap down on anything in her way. Once you get almost, almost directly behind her, we're going to have to move quick. She's going to roll. Try and wrap her up in it. Don't, don't lock it off. Yeah, there you go. With right. both jaws tied, Martin has to tape her mouth shut. Give you some tape. He's hoping his lasso knots don't fail him. One or two more wraps and you're done. That'll do. Beautiful. God, that's hard work. The female has been restrained, and once she's been tied safely to a tree in the shade, they can cautiously approach the nest. Martin and Robbie have spotters ready to wrangle the other five females, or the monster-sized male outboard if or when they attack. I don't know where they are, and I think it's that fear in the back of my mind. I've got to concentrate on what I'm doing, but then a crocodile could just come up any of these banks and, and, and grab me. Oh, that's one of the eggs. Look at that. It's a beautiful sight, isn't it? It's amazing. How many people back home can say they've done this? Getting those eggs out of the nest was an unreal experience. I mean, it's just beyond my mind how something so small can end up so big. I felt like I was on the scene of Jurassic Park dusting the eggs. Oh, wow. This little amphibian <laughs> has caused destruction and misery across Australia. <laughs> Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it!